<laughs> but also adding to that, um, so Charlemagne the God is a big radio personality. If you don't know who he is, he does a lot of things. Uh, he's a dude that's very inspiring. Whether you hate him or love him, you have to respect what he does. You know, he has a hard grind. He's on several shows. He has a podcast, a radio station, and he does, he's like a producer, you know, he's a writer. He does a lot. He, he's a, he's a black man that's killing it in the game. And he's very controversial. He's a person that speaks his mind and just goes against the grain and just says whatever, you know, is, you know, on his mind. And, you know, you can admire him from that. I admire him for that. And I would like listen to the brilliant. I haven't listened to it really that much, but the brilliant idiots were a podcast that I would listen to for a while. But I just don't have the time to listen to it. I pick and choose certain podcasts and stuff I listen to now. But, uh, you know, I was like, I put him at a really high regard until recently. So one of them I'm not going to touch on because it's irrelevant, but it was the whole Soulja Boy thing and just how he handled it, which I probably might talk about on another episode or something like that. But he recently on The Breakfast Club put Liam Neeson and Donkey of the Day. Now, if you guys don't know, if you haven't listened to Breakfast Club or don't know what the hell Donkey of the Day is, it's just someone that said or did something stupid that he felt was just like, I guess, irreversible or just the stupidest, ignorant, whatever thing out of just all the stupidity that happened during that week or whatever, or that day or recently. And he gives them just donkey of the day. He gives his reasons and stuff like that. A lot of times I wouldn't question it because it's like, okay, I, I get it. You know, donkey of the day. This one, I kind of like put like he's two for two with the whole Soldier Boy thing. And now this. So he gave Liam Neeson donkey of the day because of like the story he told about the interview I was just talking about. And I'm thinking like, okay, you know, I don't agree with him because I heard the whole interview. But, you know, I respect, you know, that's how he feel. Whatever. Didn't have a problem with it. Until Angela Yee, I think, uh, is uh, his co-host or whatever, came out and said, didn't he apologize at the end and said that that's not who he is and that it was wrong for him to think that way and blah, blah, blah. And basically just, you know, summing up how he ended off the end of the story. Charlemagne, an intelligent man comes out and says I didn't listen to the whole interview <sighs> this is what threw me over because for a person that I've heard on several episodes of the brilliant idiots with Andrew Schultz say a word or a phrase do your due diligence in certain things which is get all the information. Make sure you have all the information before you, you know, talk about something, blah, blah, blah. Do your due diligence. Tez, that he did not listen to the whole interview, but yet took it upon himself to put him as donkey of the day. That's not doing your due diligence. That's not doing your research. That's not going in and making a accurate observation of what a person said, a story that he told. Now, like I said, I doubt that someone going to come out as a racist or something that can damage a whole movie that thousands of people have worked on and is coming out this week. I doubt if he's going to come out as a racist to damage that image of him being the main person that's in that movie, the main character, and have people not see it. I doubt if he's going to come out as a racist. And for you to go on The Breakfast Club and give him donkey of the day without listening to the whole interview is very irresponsible. You didn't do your due diligence. You really didn't. And then what's crazy was when she mentioned it and he actually listened to it on the air, it, he looked like he was like, damn, I fucked up. Because you did. You didn't do your due diligence. You, you irresponsibly went on the air, gave, like, judged somebody off of a off 20 seconds of a story that has a longer length to it and you basically judged him off of that saying that yeah you know i don't you know he did something stupid blah 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 and all this stuff and then like damn i didn't listen to the whole interview why didn't that dawn on you in the first place 
Why didn't that dawn on you? I don't care how much it pissed you off for him saying black bastard, because that's more than likely where people turned it off or stopped listening to it. Why wouldn't you as a person, a radio personality that has a lot of followers, a lot of people that look up to you, a lot of people that depend on you for your information, for your opinion, and you listen to half the information and go off of that and go on the air. That was stupid. Not only stupid, but irresponsible of a person of your caliber. I'm a YouTuber. I don't get that many views. I don't have that many subs. And I still would have done it. I listened to the whole damn interview. Still, so that I can formulate an opinion. A valid opinion. An accurate opinion on someone. Guaranteed, if he would have did his due diligence and listened to the whole interview, he probably would have not given him donkey of the day. Or if he would still have, probably would have got a better, you know, reason. But Liam Neeson, from my observation, is not a racist. It's not like he came out and was saying nigger, 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 just like Hulk Hogan did. He came out and said that this was the reason, this is what happened, this is the reason why he did what he did, and he wasn't actively going up to black people, punching them, kicking them, hitting them with a the bat, trying to kill them and stuff. He was waiting on a confrontation, and he came out at the end of the story and said that was wrong. He realized it in that space, not years later, not like yesterday. Not right before the interview, not as the interview was going on, he realized it then that that was wrong. So for you to go on the air with your misinformation, a person that is intelligent, and to screw this up, you making yourself look horrible, just horrible. And like I said, this is two for two. I'm not going to get into Soldier Boy stuff because that was just irresponsible of yourself because that's another case where you had misinformation. You didn't do your due diligence and confront a person which you said that you like, that you thrive off a of confrontation. A person that has a lot of just heat and just craziness around this whole console thing. You didn't do your due diligence, your due diligence and question him about it. You didn't start up a confrontation and try and get the real information. You sucked his dick throughout the whole interview. Let's, let's praise it to uh, Soldier Boy Almighty, our Lord and Savior, uh, uh, Soldier Boy. Playing around with that. That's stupid. This dude is ripping people off. He is in a lawsuit with Nintendo for bootlegging, for putting his name on a console that bootlegged Nintendo and other console games. He is in a lawsuit right now and you didn't challenge that? But like I said, I'm, 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 you know, it, and that's just another case. He's two for two in giving out misinformation. And that's what's crazy to me. I wouldn't have had no problem with the whole thing. If he gets somebody done the other day, how you feel? Whatever. Whether I agree or not, disagree with it, whatever. But this time, it was unwarranted. It really was unwarranted. And so with that, I give Charlemagne the God his own prestigious donkey of the day. So, yeah, he is a dumb ass for doing what he was doing, for not getting all the information. So he gets donkey of the day. Matter of fact, he gets donkey of the week because I don't do this stupid shit, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go.